This dev vlog brought to you by Bullhead Armor for the stubborn mech warrior and you equip it today and refuse to consider alternatives. Hey, Darren. Hey, Matt. It's February dev vlog number two. I was thinking as we were prepping for this dev vlog, how overconfident we were in our last dev vlog about how much time we had to do mm -hmm. this dev vlog. <laughs> And now, that... and now we're racing to get it done by the end of the month dude what happened to the month i don't know but let's jump into it because we got it all planned out right we we do let's do it all right so let's go over the topics for today's devlog take it away mm -hmm. indeed uh today we are going to be discussing the february patch we're going to be discussing intel gathering we're going to be discussing the striker booster pack the march patch the roadmap update and whatever miscellaneous chatter we have at the end okay cool. that sound good yep let's yeah. jump right into it with the february patch let's do it so uh yeah we we have basically our first patch went live on uh was it february 16th february 16th right. 10 a.m yeah. pst Whew, man like that was uh that was a big day i was i was a bit nervous and excited and all kinds of emotions wrapped up but it went live and it was uh pretty successful we we didn't have we didn't any, break the game yeah <laughs> break the game any which, patch where there honest. isn't an immediate hot fix is pretty positive in my my books now um yeah. we had some yeah, risk yeah. in there and uh we actually sure. saw some items come of that risk level uh but uh i think all in all successful patch and set us up nicely for what's coming in march but um yeah so just Let's obviously people quickly, know yeah. the patch but like bolt on staying on there was a big spiel in the patch notes about how yeah you guys are right some boltons should fall off and then also the addition of we are going to investigate boltons just being an option to render or not render and so that's uh in our internal roadmap now um we'll talk about updating the roadmap later on in this but yes. uh that was uh, overall i think a positive change and we've got some work to do to figure out which boltons need to fall off um to help the community we're going to do that and that will be mm -hmm. in the next patch Reconnection time limit increased. I haven't heard too much chatter about this. I saw a few positive, uh, like people saying like, yeah, good, great, good change. Yeah, um, I've, I've heard a, a few positive things and haven't heard any negative. So that's good in my book. Yeah. Yeah. Reduced unit recruitment costs. Um, a lot yeah. of people just were indifferent about it. You know, maybe units aren't as big a deal as they were at one time. Maybe they will become a big deal again. Um, but obviously for those that are out there and enjoy their units, hopefully it'll help a little bit. Yep. Enjoy and increased, units. increased cadets, <laughs> cadet bonus, um, net positive on this one. Um, I did say in yeah. the patch notes that I was going to release some information as to how we're going to retroactively do some rewarding. And, uh, I actually did that leading up to this because I was reminded of it when we were setting up the devlog talking points today that I mm -hmm. need to release that. So I actually did that work. Um, and it's going to be uh, going out in a patch um, probably this week. And basically it's just going to go through the like the last eight months and do some level of rewards based on completion there. Excellent. That is very good news. I yeah. didn't actually know about that. You're such a busy guy. That well, I, I just, I, you, you were CC'd on the email. It's just that you, I sent it to you while you were making the notes for this. Okay. actual thing so yeah oh i did hear the chime that i got an email okay that's what it's about then yep. good to know um and then the last one obviously was the time of day uh changing it from six maps to static from uh, a, a changing time of day to static so um which has been you know mostly again it's positive feedback there's some people that miss certain times a day on certain maps and we will address that in future uh updates um hopefully we have some ideas that we're rolling around and and, and think that we'll uh sl solve that problem yep. or that desire that request further on in and the then, year yep and then we had an issue come up with caustic valley Do you want yes to... it's nighttime in caustic valley <laughs> yeah like really nighttime in yeah caustic i didn't valley. change it that wasn't me um after some investigation we discovered that it was part of one of the maps that has time of day settings on it when i did my initial investigation basically what i do is i jump into the maps and check is the sun moving and so i jumped into every map in testing grounds and i'd look around and be like i don't see the sun moving i don't see shadows moving therefore right. it doesn't have time of day as a setting on it apparently it has time of day as a setting on it so now i've got to fix that for the next patch so we're going to yeah. go through and choose a specific time of day for caustic valley 
make it look all nice, set it to that time of day, and then uh, release it when the next patch is kind of a fix. And so get your nighttime Caustic Valley fix right now. And again, time of day settings, having three or four options or something in the future is something we want to look at, but yeah. that'll be later on in the year. Um, and in the meantime, people were, you know, have informed me. I haven't actually dropped on the, the dark map yet, but people have informed me that uh, alternative vision modes, you know, can be used press to. H or press H or press N, figure out which one works best for you. And uh, sorry, but you'll have to deal with it for um, for a while. You're, yeah, for I'm going to call you the... I'm going to call you the flash. The green yeah, because it's the green flash. It was working <laughs> fine up until I started recording. So maybe something to do with OBS and... I don't uh, know what it is. Not playing nice, but... Uh, I, maybe my life is a green screen. It's a simulation. I think so. it's, it's, no, it's because of our tie into Razor. You're just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Razor it's colors. subliminal Razor. <laughs> Speaking of Razor. Yes. Mm. Nice new headset, Darren. <laughs> I'm loving We're it. matching. Except I for know, I'm, we are. I'm uh, reversed. I'm in mirror mode on Discord. So. I almost can't tell you from me. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're twins. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to Intel Gathering. Um, Intel Gathering is happening right now. We have uh, three pinned topics up on the forum in the command chair. Uh, we're looking for feedback on the bolt-ons, which you guys, have been, well, all three of these, you guys have been doing an excellent job in getting back to us and giving us your input and your feedback. It's in regards to bolt-ons, which one should stay on. Um, the first weapons balance pass that we are working on uh, right now. Oh, man, that's stressing me out a little bit. We got to get back to work, so let's get through this. Yep. Um, and then uh, number three is the map spawn points, which obviously we've mentioned already. I mentioned in that post that we're working on Tourmaline Desert as the first um, map that we're going to be tweaking the spawn points on. Um, but also I did uh, say it's fine to give you your feedback on which the next maps should be um, the, the outliers, ones that need the most help. So that's the stuff that's up there right now. You can still go, you can still give feedback. I'll still be reading uh, that stuff for the next few days while we make these uh, changes. It's um, worth saying the bolt-on stuff, the work has to be done for that soon. Uh, and the terminal line desert one, the work has to be done soon, and the weapon pass. But weapon pass is really gonna be an ongoing thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, we say pass one, but you can give us feedback that'll affect pass two, pass three, and we'll also yeah. be looking for feedback as we tune this stuff. So, but and I and I do you, go ahead. Sorry, but like so, most of these are ongoing. With the bolt ons, I would say though, what we're just trying to do is mitigate the fact that we did make them all stay on, and there's some yeah. really really clear examples put up. Uh, Naveed put one up where it shows the blood asp with his weapon really, I think that really was clearly. That was the one for me clear. that was like, yeah, okay, that's, that's yeah. not good. So, so with your guys' best judgment, I will go through and remove the ones that, or make the ones that need to fall off, fall offable. Yeah, that's a word. Exactly. And, and if we, you know, like you said at the beginning of this, it's ongoing. So yeah. if we change it, we can change it again. All this stuff, everything that we work on for the most part is something that we're, is gonna be ongoing assessments and changes if necessary. So don't get too uh, worked up. If something changes and doesn't seem right, we can still address it and we will if uh, that is the community's desires. Um, couple new Intel posts, it'll be Intel gathering posts will be going up uh, either today or tomorrow. Um, one will be on the next uh, booster pack, which will be a clan pack. We have more time this time to uh, to do some back and forth. So we'll, we'll yeah, you're gonna provide that. a list of all the ones that they've already mm -hmm. talked about because we have a, you had your sorted and prioritized list and mm -hmm. by votes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah. so we should put that up at the beginning of the thing. Like, let's talk clan booster pack next. Well, we have uh, a couple of suggestions, I think strong suggestions from Jay-Z, who's helping us with uh, with the trial mechs. Um, I'm going to list both the, the mechs that have been requested by the community uh, a significant number of times, like the most requested, uh, maybe the top 10, top 20 or something like that, and as well as what Jay-Z is suggesting. And then we can just kind of go from there. So we can have some back and forth. We have the time for that with this pack, which we didn't really have time for uh, with the striker pack. So um, I'm looking forward to that conversation and picking some really cool mechs for that next pack. And then also today or tomorrow, I'll be doing one on, uh, we want to get a new player pack in the game one, a pack that is specifically geared to somebody who's just starting the um, game. And we would love to have your input on what you think uh, new players should be getting in that pack. So uh, those posts will be going up today or tomorrow, hopefully today, I think. Um, <clears throat> and then upcoming Intel Gathering will be uh, the Agility Pass, a first pass at Agility and a first pass at Quirks. 
there's a lot of question marks in that, you know, both of those categories. So um, I think that's going to be an interesting discussion and obviously ongoing. Uh, yeah. There's going to be many passes, I think. I find um, it, uh, with all the things that we're trying to do this year, I think it's going to be a lot of, um, you know, you change something over here and then it means that something else should change over here. So yeah. there's a lot of well, interconnectedness, I mean, just, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, well, the next thing we're talking about is the striker pack. And just, you know, bringing that idea into the striker pack, um, you know, we're Should working on the quirk. Yeah, you can bring it up. Okay. We're working on the quirks right now, which is point number four on here. But just real quickly, you know, that's one point. Like, the quirks that we apply to this might be affected by the weapons balance pass, agility balance pass quirk, you know, so we're very aware that everything that we're working on right now ha is subject to change throughout this year. Now, <clears throat> you know, also be aware that our mission statement, our goal with uh, addressing MechWarrior Online this year is to make it more fun and uh, and bring people back to the game. So um, I wouldn't worry too much that we're bringing out a bunch of Nerf hammers or whatever. Um, it's just that there's going to be, oh, just, and, and, and scale, you know, if we ever mess with scale. There's so many things. What do you mean if? Can, you mean when? When we, I, I always say if because I'm 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 citing on uh, you know caution, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm so throwing caution all, to the wind. Throw caution to the wind. Uh, I want to do rescale. Oh, I think we need it. Obviously, I, I think it's absolutely necessary, and it will be huge for the game, and it'll be yeah. uh, a significant change. It will you know pique people's interest to bring them back, and so. But every single one of these has uh, knock on effects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so, effects, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but anyway, so that's just that all that does is just make it more challenging. Uh, still totally necessary, still totally excited to get these changes in the game. But that's just my point. Is that let's talk about uh, the booster pack. We're rambling. Let's talk about the striker booster pack. So, this first pack comes with the Thunderbolt 10 SE and the Grand Dragon 1G. Um, so first, we want to talk about the value in the pack. Um, Obviously, we're, we've made a few changes from the way things have been done in the past. Um, you know, not the GSP. We were... Got some GSP in there. Got some well, C bills in there. The GSP itself, if you get the early adopter rewards, you get a total of 400 GSP. And that itself is $20. All right. So yeah. the pack is $20. So the way I'm presenting to people is, um, you know, spend twenty dollars on GSP and then and get, and get all this other four stuff. Max, Mac Bays, bolt ons, war horns, yeah. everything for free. Exactly. Yeah. Um yeah, I think it's great. Uh we took a lot of the feedback in that players have been asking for for a long time, things that we just haven't had a chance to do. And Darren and I kept on going back and forth like, is this like are we making sure that they're getting a really good value? Aside from the fact that like are these mech choices going to be exciting and popular and bring something new to the game? Which I'll address uh, in a second. Yeah, and there are people requesting them and stuff like that. Um, you know, let's yeah. make sure, regardless, and because this is going to be a bit of a template for us for the, the year moving mm -hmm. forward. It's like going to be two mechs in the same, a similar format with some, you know, taking any feedback into consider consideration. But uh, we wanted to make sure the value is still there and that the early adopters was still a good thing to get. Mm -hmm. uh, and but also like if early adopters went when it goes away, that there's still twenty dollars worth of value in the pack. Absolutely. You know, the, 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 the feeling we were going with was something along the, um, the tournament support packs uh, that we did in the past. And so, and everybody always felt that those were solid values. That's what we were going for here. We did, we have received some feedback besides quirks and, and, and weapons, hard points and so forth. Some people have mentioned things like they'd like to see some, um, you know, some, uh, some premium time um, and a few, a few other topics. So these we're, we're totally open to continually updating these packs and making them as primo as possible for you guys in the community. Um, we, you know, that is our desire. We want to absolutely make them the best packs possible. Um, in terms of, uh, well, let's get to point number three. Um, we are doing kind of a new direction with bolt-ons, which I'm really excited about, um, which is almost like, um, you know, alternative geometry, right? It's, 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 uh, it's like the, the way... old, the old um, uh, extra geo, or what did we call it? Unique geo. Unique geo, like the 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 Phoenix pack. Um, yeah. I love this. Um, the moment we discussed it, I loved it, and the feedback I'm getting from the community is absolutely um, that this is a good choice and a good direction. 
Um, obviously, right now, what we have, if you go to mwmerch.com and you check out the striker pack, it's just some sketching that we have up there from Alex Iglesias. Um, in terms of the bolt-ons, as we uh, move forward, we'll update the website with you know more accurate depictions of what the bolt-ons are going to be. But I'm super excited. Basically, yeah, it's just an alternative geometry thing. It's adding armor bits and cool little things to the mech. So hopefully you guys out there like this new direction with the bolt-ons. I freaking love it. And that's what I want to see happen with all bolt-ons heading uh, forward. Um, I feel like every single one of these bolt-ons is cool. You know, like no... Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So, uh, and the, the it's, other thing with that. Purpose, they're purposely for the mech. It's like yes. expanding on the theme rather yeah. than um, trying to tack a theme onto something. Which I think that, like, you know, like some of the bolt-ons, yeah, or horns, or some of the bolt-ons, like, that we've had, uh, we try to make them applicable to as many mechs as possible. Yeah. These ones are very specifically for these mechs, Which, these themed, these themed. And they're going to be, if you don't get them in the pack, you don't get them now. They're just going to be gone. So it is an exclusive item. It is yep. like the um, uh, special Geo that you would have got in some of the older uh, pre-order packs and stuff like that. But it is still a bolt-on, so you can't put it on or take it off if you like a particular piece or, or that kind of thing. So as for color changing, I'm not sure. I think we'll probably have color changing in there as well, so you can match it up to whatever paint job you give your mech. But... I can say it's going to be uh, badass. It's going to look yeah. cool, and we're going to have um, probably uh, Mark live stream his. Uh, yeah, Mark Nicholson here. is modeling them. So Mark Nicholson yeah. has joined the we'll team. Talk, we'll talk about Mark in a, in a moment, right? <laughs> oh, you just spilled all the beans. Anyway, um, we quirks. This is a big one, right? So yeah. we don't have the quirks up on the site yet. Pretty much a lot of people, especially with the dragon, uh, are waiting to find out what the quirks are. In we terms discussed of whether... quirks. We just hadn't posted them. Yeah, right? We're, We're not part. hiding them. We're not sitting on the quirks right now. We are working our way through the quirks, figuring out what we're going to do. We understand that there's a lot of potential value there. Um, so This plays into the next those. comment too, right? One of the things we've done in the past was early adopters yeah. cut off the day it shipped. Yeah. And that has just been the way we did it, right? But now with early adopters, it's going to be extended for a month past the ship date so that people who are like waiting for all the information, waiting to find out from their friends, how does it play? What's the good loadout? Now you can still buy it after it's shipped, like the game, the contents in the game, purchase it, get it that day, um, and still get the early adopter bonuses. And, and Darren and I think it took us like, what, 15 minutes to come to this conclusion when we started bouncing this idea around. And it was yeah. like, this is a good idea, right? We're like, yeah, this is a good idea. I think we approached it, both of us, from the consumer standpoint. Yep. It, I guess it could be debated whether or not it's the best business decision, but um, you and I both spend a lot of money on games for our kids, for ourselves, yeah. and uh, we definitely have the consumer perspective, and it just made sense to us. So hopefully you guys appreciate it, and hopefully when they drop on uh, April 20th, you'll find a reason to purchase them and get those early adopter rewards like those freaking cool bolt-ons um so i like the hanging quirks. item the uh the mag mag pouch with the seabill booster on it that's cool absolutely man there's so much stacked uh seabill uh boosting here if you get the mechs um and the the cockpit item um you're gonna be earning some seabills so uh you know hopefully we make the quirks uh viable enough for some maybe some new players also to get this pack and, and earn those seabills early on um and uh yeah we talked about the early adopter rewards the grand dragon i've had a lot of comments on the forums and in streams and so forth that uh the they don't understand why the grand dragon was chosen um you know that it's just another dragon variant well i'm going to make it crystal clear that the reason it was chosen was because by far over twice as much as any other mech it was requested not just the grand dragon because there are other variants of the Grand Dragon, but the Grand Dragon 1G. You can go back through the um, forum thread yourself, count how many times people uh, suggested. But as I mentioned in um, the NGNG stream yesterday, I was also receiving input via uh, Twitter and email and, um, you know, uh, Discord and, and Facebook and all these other areas. And it was just simply the most requested mech by far. Why? I don't know. It surprised me. Um, I understand from a lore perspective, and I understand maybe from a, um, you know, nostalgia perspective, but it surprised me because it wasn't a hugely different mech than other mechs that we have in the game. 
Um, but we did, because again, we were on a little bit of a time crunch with this one, we did go with by far the most requested mech from the uh, community. Hopefully we can make it a fun mech. I think it will be. For sure, it's going to look badass, but um, you know, hopefully, with the quirks and 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 so forth, and and with upcoming changes, it's just going to be a, a good and fun Mac. And the people that requested it, I hope you enjoy it. Um, the 10 SE we went with because it was a little something different. It had jump jets, mast, ECM, really kind of one of those uh, good in and out brawler type mechs. Maybe I don't know how people are going to use it, but that's what I'm guessing. Um, so it was also a highly requested mech. Um, and it just felt from the design internal team, it felt like a good choice because, um, you know, it had, uh, all three of those aspects to its mobility and, and, and so forth. So, um, you know, like I said, this next pack, the clan pack, we're going to have more time for some back and forth. So if you guys want to go a different direction, you know, by all means, let's do it. Um, and th and that was my final point, uh, you know, and that'll be kind of applied to all, uh, booster packs going forward. We're going to have more time um hopefully so uh yeah let's move on to all right the march patch matt you want to talk yes for a bit? yeah sure so i can drink my coffee yeah for sure <laughs> like you need more coffee uh I march know, patch so fixing lighting on caustic valley uh it's a minor thing it's just a leftover bug from last last time so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll go through that and um i think we'll probably do that next week and i'll release a screenshot and let you guys know what what we've chosen um Update the bolt-ons, it should fall off. So basically we'll go troll through that, trawl through the uh, form thread and figure out what you guys are saying. Yep, make this fall off and then I'll just make the adjustments in the XML file. Change spawn points for Termaline Desert. This will take a bit more investigation, a bit more uh, work on our part because uh, need a level designer to come in and do those changes and make sure that we've got those changes exactly lined up the way that we want to do them. Some considerations around distance to capture points things like that but yes. that's going to be in the next next patch and really i think people call this one out because uh in certain spawns you can get receive fire immediately right in Termaline. well so i was in somebody's stream last night he always likes to get called out so i'm gonna call him out phil i was watching the stream last night and he yeah. was uh he's like clip that clip that because he was on Tourmaline and uh, he was sitting there perched over a, a ridge and just watching the um, the slow assaults coming from that uh, alpha spawn point getting decimated and you know so he wanted it as evidence I'm like dude don't clip that we know but anyway yeah. <laughs> <laughs> more evidence That's for the what's pile being worked on yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah uh, and you know this isn't going to be like some grand reworking of how mech spawn or how any of the logic of any of that stuff but it's more like Okay, well, we got to move these guys over here so at least they're not receiving fire immediately. And hopefully it'll change up the, the pacing and kind of roots on that map a little bit. But there is a debate drastic. going on. Yeah, there is a debate going on in terms of, you know, the whole spawn idea and that maybe going back to a group spawn, just everybody spawn together is the way to go. But that's an ongoing discussion. Not going to happen this patch. Um, and we can absolutely, uh, you know, address that if that's what, people want to do and, and think that's the best idea but anyway moving forward weapon balance AMS. changes past one, oh ams match score yep that's going to be a tuned tuned value that'll be a relatively simple thing to do we were looking at that this morning and um the way it factors into match score uh you know certain things re receive multipliers and so certain things re receive like dampeners whatnot so this one receives a dampener we just have to adjust that a bit we're looking at how much it factors in in some cases if people have a lot of ams it can actually factor into their match score quite significantly yeah. um but, <laughs> and that's of course what people are looking at is people yeah. that uh, equip 3m ams or whatever and go out there and just absorb missiles well they are providing a service to your team they're providing but a service but does it uh, but the problem is that is the, the implications has, for yeah is that it's no it's not skill based so they can potentially be going up in tiers without skill applying to that you know yeah. so but anyway we're gonna tune it a bit yep we're gonna tune it a bit and if it needs further tuning after this we can uh, still look come back and look at it again weapons balance changes pass one this is exciting Ooh. this is the one i'm most excited about for this patch um because obviously it's going to have the most change it's going to have the most effect to your day-to-day -day matches um and yeah, I'm excited about it again and, and nervous, right? Because we don't want to uh, flub the game for a month. Um, yeah, 
kind of do. No, just kidding. You do. <laughs> no, you do no, more no, than. No. Oh my god. No. I, no, I want to mix it's... things up because it's been the same for so long, and I want. That's a better term. I want to should... get a reaction yeah. from the player base, and I want. Um, I want to give people a reason to try new builds and try new mechs and and mm -hmm. go like, hey, I can just I can do this now with this mech, and maybe this mech has actually been brought back from. You know, a case of like, well, you can only do one or two things with it. To now, yep. it's more viable. But I, this, I'm, I am not the spreadsheet warrior. I yeah. like to shoot things with big guns. I'm not. I don't do the math. I don't do that stuff. That's why I wouldn't make these weapon balance changes at all, right? Um, oh my god, we've been going over the spreadsheets, and all I can say is it just turns my brain into mush. Like it, you know, a wall of numbers. But anyway, we're we're doing it. We're going yeah. over them. Um, and yeah, I think. You know, part of me, I I shouldn't have said flub. It, it is mixing things up. And sometimes yeah. mixing things up, just for the sake of mixing things up, is fun, you know? And so um, it, there's that there's that, uh, that big debate out there, you know, do we take giant steps or do we take baby steps in terms of uh, not... Obviously, we're, this is a past one. We're not going to do all the weapons. We're going to do a certain number of weapons. Um, but the question is, do we just, you know, huge changes, massive changes... Or do we do little baby steps? Um, and that's subjective from the community. It's subjective. Um, you know, there's the cautionary people that have had have their favorite builds and they want baby steps. And then there's the people that are just like, oh my God, I need a change in this game. So we're going to try and hopefully find a balance there and provide a uh, solid, um, you know, first pass at the weapons balance. Yeah, and it's not um, going to be every weapon either. So don't like anticipate nope. that every weapon's going to be touched. It's going to no. be probably a group of weapons with like a thought process behind it and. Um, yeah. So we will explain our thought process process behind the changes, and yes. uh, then you guys can feedback on it. And yep. weapon change pass two will be, you know, in, loaded in the chambers for the next patch. And uh, moving on to new trial mech loadouts, we have uh, Jay Z. We're working closely with Jay Z and our internal team to determine what the new trial mechs will be. Um, coming out in the March patch. So well, we've got the uh, mechs. It's just the loadouts, right? We're just doing a little bit of back and forth, and he's we're doing been a us, asking us, yeah. "Can hey, can we get quirk or not quirks? Um, skill 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 points skill points automatically assigned to them." I don't think we currently have that. That is something that's on the roadmap. It makes yeah. sense. Um, Absolutely makes sense. We, yeah. So it's not the this first trial mech change up update may not be the ultimate the best um you know there's 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 some internal debates about how to uh you know load out these mechs um we want to make sure because you know bottom line is these mechs are for absolute beginner players and so um there's i think obviously a strong pull to make the mechs as effective as possible but what does that mean uh, you know effective as possible to a new player is different than effective as possible to somebody who's been playing even for six months or eight years, you know? So um, <clears throat> I, I th that, that's just, a, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, push and pull in terms yeah. of, of that ongoing process, which is absolutely fine. I, there's no issues with that at all. That's what we want. Um, so, but all I'm saying with that is that when these come out, if it's not perfection, then give us feedback, tell us what we need to do differently. And we will continue, uh, working with Jay-Z and working with yourselves, the community, um, to make sure that the next round, which will, you know, it will be right on the slate after we get these out, um, will be better. So yep. just like everything else ongoing and we'll do, you know, we'll absolutely listen to feedback and input and make it better. Cool. Yep. Next up roadmap update. So staffing, but actually the call that I just took at the end of the last uh, thing there was actually a staffing call. So yeah, uh, rolling people onto. So um, we're getting people added to the team and uh, they're, like we said before, it's starting with artists uh, and level designers. And then uh, we'll be getting engineers added to the team. Um, so naming names, uh, obviously in the pre-order pack we had to invoke some people like alex iglesias did the concept art and then painted over the skins for the the mech there uh mark nicholson um was is going to be actually making the mechs uh making the mech skins and doing the bolt-ons mm -hmm. um and then we had, we had we had lowry chris lowry we had nico. david bradley nico david bradley yeah, yeah. so we have we have 
a, I love this uh, this this group of people because um, they all have absolute passion for this franchise for Mech Warrior for BattleTech. Um, so it makes our very long discussions much more enjoyable when you have people that care about it, right? Oh, and that's definitely. not to say anything about anybody else. It's just I'm saying these group of guys are awesome. Um, so they, been... yeah, they, all of them play the tabletop. They play all of the video game versions. They have a hit, rich, rich knowledge, uh, subject matter of all these things. Absolutely. Like David Bradley, you talk to him and you mention variants and he knows what year they came out and, um, the equipment on them and that kind of thing. So, like, so and... we, we start debating mechs and we're like, yeah. this one's popular on the forums and they will like just off from the hip like just from their mind shoot out all these yeah. facts and information that like yeah you they're walking have to sarnas be, yeah they're walking sarnas it, it's a bit crazy and uh, they put me to shame because i'm the one you know in this group that's been around the franchise from for the longest since 1984 uh, and uh they make they, i feel like that's what i should be like but i just don't have that capacity anymore to have everything memorized but those guys are amazing and just like you said we don't need to have pull sarna up when we're having group discussions with them no you don't so, they're walking sarnas that's insane and yeah. uh you know alex alex iglesias is like premier mech Enough warrior said. artist in my mind right there's yeah. a there's a community of really really good mech warrior artists out there and i know there's a lot of them people that really love making these mechs and stuff and alex is is you know one of the greats and we're just so lucky to have him on their team from the inception of the project and, and i love uh, working with mark and he mark, you know yep. like I, I play often with him. So when I'm out there playing with the community, he's often out there playing with the community. Um, so he's just another solid dude. And he's the one that will be streaming, uh, working on the, uh, the um, bolt-ons for yeah. the new mechs. Yeah, so, it's funny too. Um, it's like, it's not like in a lot of times in game development, there's like people always looking forward to going on to the next project or the new project. Like mm -hmm. um, the enthusiasm for them coming back to MechWarrior Online, coming back to working on MWO. Dude, the level of excitement it. is just awesome. I, know. So, I, know. I love it. And then uh, we're looking at, uh, at at some hiring. Yes. So we can get into that. At, you know, I don't know if you want to touch on well, that. Well, the first all, one's going to be a, a junior level designer. And the point will be to hire them to start doing all the uh, moving around and uh, added cover to existing maps. So we're not going to yep. look to throw them in the deep end of designing a new map. We want them to gain an understanding of what is involved in making a map for MWO and that will be spawn points and working with the community and working with you Darren to get the feedback from player base it's be like, awesome yeah like and and then beyond that like let's add some cover in um, <clears throat> the snowy map and relight the the other one polar like just, highlands and polar highlands cover in polar highlands I think is, is key to the, the, that map being um, Refresh. Well, yeah, right? that's the biggest complaint, right? Is that uh, there's not no cover and you get LRM to death. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just adding a team member. It doesn't even matter. Like I was saying earlier, if, even if we were adding a janitor, um, you know, <laughs> I'd be just excited that we're adding a team member. We're hiring somebody for MWO. And so yeah. thankfully it's not a janitor. It is a junior level designer and it's going to be somebody who will have immediate impact on the stuff that we're doing right now. And that's just the beginning. We're moving forward. And, uh, you know, yeah, he's a dedicated resource too. So it's, it's, he will be hired exclusively for this project. So all he will be yep. doing will be working on those maps. So as he gets up to speed, we'll start with ball points and start with cover. And then later on in the year, um, or get him doing some lighting and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. and then later on in the year, we'll look at doing some kind of community initiative with let's design a, a new map a together. New map. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be exciting. So I'm super excited about that. Um, the other thing is we're going to update the full roadmap around the uh, March patch. Yeah. So as, as we mentioned, the uh, roadmap has always been from the beginning uh, fluid and, 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 you know, ever changing kind of as we go through this process. So we'll be making uh, the first kind of change, which goes into the next uh, point, which is how do items get added to that? Um, you know, like, uh, like smoke screens or what. <laughs> whatever interesting things the community comes up with so um, i'm gonna regret you know, making and, that warhorn on you are dude um <laughs> I, I like I the just, idea i just it's i just, think I it should be change... smoke inside the cockpit yeah, i think yeah. it should be hot boxing but <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway 
Um, the way you get things added to the roadmap will be ongoing threads around the roadmap. But that's not the only way. I'm continually taking feedback. People bring up, um, you know, important points. Um, uh, Naveed just recently brought up a point of uh, the LRM mechs that have the LRM hatches and doors and so forth, um, and that there's a delay when you when you're firing LRMs, um, and that that could be difficult for new players. Some mechs, some mechs, uh, you know, the doors start open or or, uh, or don't have doors, and so there's no delay. So he's basically saying, just like the King Crab, when you fire those ACs, um, it fires and opens at the same time. So there's no delay. He's asking if we can do that for the LRMs. I think it's a good point. We'll probably add that to the roadmap. Um, so there, there are ways to continue, you know, get things still added to the roadmap as we move forward. Yep. And um, and and so just keep your eye out for those. Darren is now accepting bribes to add things to the roadmap. Honestly, it just takes a, a good idea, you know, and something that seems feasible. Um, you know, uh, MWO 2.0 is not going to get added to the roadmap, but uh, you know, obviously, something like uh, what Naveed brought up makes sense. Cool. All right, so that's the roadmap update, and it's miscellaneous chatter time because yes, we have not already miscellaneous. We have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Popularity and revenues show a continued population. Population. Popularity, and popularity, yeah. Uh, revenue show a continued upward trend since October 2020. Yeah, ever since we announced that you were coming back and we were going to start working on MWO, it's just been a straight line up, step three profit. No. Um, well, it has been, you know, just like everything, there's, it has its ups and downs, but it's been a continual upward trend since October. And obviously that has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the fact that the game wasn't getting attention for years and now it is getting attention and people are noticing. And I'm super excited about that. Increased population and increased revenues make it possible for us to do the stuff that we want to do and that you want to do. Um, you know, population is going to help with matchmaker. It's going to help us move to um, separating uh, group queue and solo queue again. And revenue obviously helps us to hire and to have more resources to do what we need to do to add more fun to the game. So, um, we'll I think I think population, like more more players playing, people coming back, new players staying. That's why new player, you know, new player stuff is so important. Um, yeah. And reengaging, regazing the existing player base uh, is yeah. the two key areas that we're we're trying to work on. Uh, next month we'll have another free mech. And it's going to be the Lucky Charms event and all kinds of stuff. So, you yeah. know, tell your friends, come back, play some more Mech Warrior. Every month is going to be free Mech guys. So uh, uh, get them back here. It, you know, th the bottom line is uh, there's been just increased traffic. People are seeing that there's, um, you know, more people uh, on a daily basis playing. They're seeing names that they don't recognize. Uh, new players coming in. I'm watching all the streaming channels. You know, streaming numbers are really uh, solid right now. So, it's a good time, and and we want to keep up that momentum, and uh, that 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 feeling moving forward. So, um, the other thing that just happened, this was, you know, I'm gonna let you talk about this because you really uh, made this happen, and it was freaking awesome. With uh, well, it was it was so, uh, it was a great tie-in with Razer. They contacted us and were like, "Hey, we've got this really cool keyboard, the Razer Huntsman V2 analog keyboard, and we want to send it to you guys and see what you guys think for for your game." and the way the keyboard works is that you can actually use the depression of the key and get gradients of pressure on it, and then you can map that to like a joystick type control in the game. And so, like so, a throttle, or, like a yeah. throttle, or like a all kinds of torso things. twist, or mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Like you can you can also have it trigger different actions at different points. I know Nutty Rat was talking about trying to make it trigger mask when you depressed it all the way, with so the W like starting like halfway or whatever. Um, you know, it's he he tried it out. I tried out the keyboard, and uh, it's really really high end keyboard. Really really nice keyboard. I've got a Razer Huntsman keyboard, but just a mechanical one mm -hmm. right now. I passed the 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 other one on to QA uh, for testing, and then we also got to give away two of them uh, on stream. So Nutty Rat gave away two. One when he was playing MWO, one he was playing MW5, and uh, so those uh, I think have yours. The one's been shipped. And I'm still waiting on shipping the other one. So one of the winners was like overseas. So we're just making sure that the way we're shipping it's going to be optimal yeah. with that. So that's that's kind of cool. And it also tied in with the Huntsman Hero Mech, or sorry, the Huntsman Mech that we gave away. Yeah, we gave. But a bunch we did of give some Hero Mechs as well. As well. Yeah. yeah. 
it was a lot of giveaways and a lot of fun. And we're going to try and do as many, you know, anytime we can bring something new, bring something different, bring something exciting, we're going to do that. And that was an awesome event uh, that Matt set up. And we had a great time with Nutty. Um, you know, he's just a super positive member of the community, loves Razor, obviously, and uh, yeah, enjoyed it giving it those fit up. really well. It totally fit. And so, and also, one of the winners was Magic Pain Glove who is going to science the hell out of that keyboard. So if you're looking forward to, uh, you know, checking that keyboard out, I would uh, keep an eye out on Magic Pain Glove streams and uh, when he receives it. Now, he is the one that's overseas, so he hasn't received it yet. Yeah. Um, but uh, it'll be exciting to see how he uses it um, from, you know, from a really skilled player's perspective. Not say anything about you, Nutty. You're, you're better than I am by far. Um, upcoming events. So... <laughs> A, I got to get this done today, guys. But we are going to have another dev and streamer hunt this weekend. I really hesitated putting the dates on there, um, but I'm just crazy. Gonna make it happen. I know I'm crazy, uh, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to have another dev and uh, dev and streamer hunt event. It's going to be happening Friday through Sunday this time. I got a lot of feedback that uh, just one day wasn't enough. Uh, you know, not enough of the streamers were able to get involved because they don't stream on Fridays or whatever. I'm um, also going or, to coordinate it with a another another event that is going to be some content for players as well. So it's going yeah. to be themed around the dev and streamer hunt, but there's going to be content for you guys to earn just through the, the event system too. I don't even know what that is yet. So we will probably find out somewhere around the same time, but I'm sure it's going to be cool because Matt's working on it. Um, so look out for that coming in just a couple days. It's going to be working. It's going to be going from Friday, uh, February 26th at 12, just past midnight. Uh, AM all the way through Sunday, February 28th at uh, just before midnight um, Pacific Mech Warrior time. Uh, so that will be fun. Look forward to uh, meeting you guys out on the battlefield, give you some uh, dev kill medallions and look and for me in whatever. tier five. Absolutely. <laughs> I might make, ooh, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might make an alt so I can be in tier five too. I don't know yet. You can't because um, your dev account. It's yeah. got to be your dev account where they kill you and then it's automatically injected unless you're going to have some sort of weird alt dev account. Well, I do. I have those hunt accounts and uh, Colin can, oh, know, can program okay, cool. whoever. Yeah, yeah. Just like we do with the streamers. Um, but uh, then we have the Lucky Charms <laughs> event coming up next month, which is a, a fan favorite. Always love the uh, finding the treasures at the end of the rainbow, the pots of gold. Um then we have upcoming sales. We have new bundles coming out no, new next month, as long as I design them. I don't know what the hell to call them. Bundles of luck, bundles of charms, yeah. something. We're going to have some bundles if I can come up with it. So uh, You got lucky you know. charms on there twice. No, because there's a lucky charms event and a lucky charms sale, right? Oh, yeah. Is okay. Not? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So there is it's, now. It's, you put it on there. There must be. <laughs> <laughs> um making work it's e me. that's either a typo or that will happen so uh anyway that's pretty much it a lot of stuff i know we didn't do that you know we're never going to get this done in 15 minutes no matter how hard we try but um i think we're okay. slower than last time but it's all right i hope i, I hope people will I, forgive us yeah i think we're doing better we received a lot of positive feedback on the tldr that you did the summarization of the um of the dev uh vlog so we'll continue doing that. We're glad you guys are appreciating that. I say we will continue doing that. And he knows, or where is he uh, over here maybe, um, that he's the one that's doing it. But yeah, it is Matt that does the TLDR. So if you guys appreciate that, you better send him. All I do is copy love. and paste all those points and then put the timestamps <laughs> in. But okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people don't do it. So it's appreciated. And, and I just wanted to pass that feedback on to you and let you all know out there that we're going to continue doing that. We uh, really appreciate you guys sticking with us and moving forward with us in this year, 2021, a big year for MechWarrior Online. Um, and uh, man, it's just been good. It's been solid work. We've been so busy and the feedback has been positive. Uh, the results have been positive. I can't be, you know, I couldn't be happier right now. Yeah, me either. I'm still soaked. I'm still having fun. It's it's a great time. So many of the, th the things, uh, you know, happening behind the scenes that we want to share with you. And that's why we're doing these devlogs. Um, yep. And, you know, look for another one coming up within the next two weeks, I guess, when we get closer to the next patch date. Uh, yeah. two, two a month may have been more than we can more than we can pull off. But oh, we uh, we're going to... We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We'll, we'll, we can we'll do. just keep pushing forward on it. Um, <laughs> yeah. And making sure that you guys stay in the loop. But uh, just keep giving us your feedback uh, wherever you can reach us. 
um, and uh, we're having a blast. Uh, what's MWO meme of the month, though? I didn't. I took that out. <laughs> it's still in you there. Just brought, what? I don't see it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it's on mine because I guess I didn't refresh before I did. The... Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So um, I did. You know, you guys put out a ton of hilarious memes. Um, you know, all the time. And so I was going to uh, try and uh, present a meme of the month. I didn't get around to it this time, um, but maybe we'll have it in the next time. I was thinking like either a meme of the month or tweet of the month or something just um, to have some fun with you guys. So we'll okay. see. I should have pressed F5 catalog. before I launched the... Uh... Okay. They, glad I didn't write anything else in there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, right. Yeah, so let's sign off. This has been devlog number two for February. Look forward to March devlog 01 in the next couple of weeks and Absolutely. March patch and new free mechs. What, what should be the free mech for next month, Darren? So we, we gave away the Huntsman. What are we going to yes, give away did. next month? I don't know. I think that that is not a decision that should be left to me, but I will definitely... Okay start hitting up the community and find out what maybe they want to see. Yeah, we'll look at some, look for something. Something good. Okay. All right. Cool, man. Awesome. That's it. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, guys. See you next time.